guys and here we are with the weekend profit once again where I show you how to make money on the side on the weekends or full time. This is where we go to flea markets, garage sales, thrift stores, everywhere. Your friend, Craigslist, whoever's got something for sale, I'm there and I'm going to show you some of the items every week that I pick up that you can find in your backyard too. So let's start out here. I'm going to use my light because we're running low on light. We're gonna start out with the flea market buy. Everything you're about to see was 40 bucks. Everything for 40 bucks, including right off the bat. Well, let me let me tell you real quick that everything was here about 108 bucks is what we paid for everything. We're gonna make over a thousand. And the main reason is is because there's game used jerseys. This right here is a game used Nebraska corn huskers, and you can see the colors off. The reason why it's game used is because it's just a different cut. They did not make player names in the 90s of a college player and this was a good college player actually he was really good but they probably wouldn't have made a jersey of him it's stitched you can just tell it's cut for the player and the jersey the tag is a little bit different than the any the regular ones don't have this tag so this is a 300 to 400 dollar jersey maybe even more to the right fan i have it posted right now for 450 and we'll see if i get any offers on it but that was right off the bat this was the 40 dollar buy i'm talking about so sorry here <laughs> The City Chiefs jersey right here. This is a rare color. They're red, red and uh, whiter. They're normal. So this one's probably going to sell for 30 to 40 bucks. We got a Joe Sacking hockey jersey. And hockey jerseys are not as easy to find. There's a lot more work into them. They're like a big giant sweater with embroidery and patches and different things. This one does not have a fight strap. And you look for the inside. A fight strap will give you an extra 20, 30 dollars on it. Depending on sometimes even more. It means it's game used. If you ever have any questions on it, just comment and I'll help you out. There's a Mike Madonna Dallas Stars jersey. Remember, this was all $40, everything I'm about to show you. Really good quality, good shape, black Dallas Stars jersey. Here's a, excuse me, I think this is Palfi. I can't remember his first name, maybe Alexander. I don't remember exactly. But it's a really high quality all-star jersey. You don't see a lot of all-star hockey jerseys. It's definitely legit CCM Canada. Look at those patches, they're really, really nice. 2002 at Los Angeles. So that's a really, this, 75 to 100 bucks. I think it has a fight strap. Let me show it. No, this one didn't. Okay. Either way, it's still 75 to 100 bucks. And then here's a Colorado Avalanche sweater. It's you don't see it much. It's not a jersey, but it's still a brand new sweater. All of that was 40 bucks. The guy wanted 50, which was a hell of a deal already. He says he has more, so we'll look back at it. This was a flea market buy early in the morning. We did really well there. Um, next up is a missing T-shirt. Oh, there, there. Next up, uh, we bought all of this for $20 I'm about to show you right now. A George Strait vintage shirt. If you didn't know, you would think, oh, this is junk. And once again, this whole table looks like junk. Most people would walk past it. That's why I'm able to do it and how you're able to do it. 1994-ish, I want to say it is. This is actually a tour shirt. Let's look at the back. What year was that? It doesn't say on it, but I, it's, um, what does that say? I can't see. Oh, George Strait. But it had a tour name on it. Lead On. There you go. So it's the Lead On Tour. This is about 40 to 50 bucks. It's in a size large. And this just looked like a, it had 1990 on it. Um, that, uh, wild, which, hair. wild hair. So I figured it might be a Six Flags shirt or something because they used to do things like this. So it's a Dracula shirt for you Dracula fans. This is like a throw in. We got the two Nintendo 64 games with that. Hey you Pikachu and we got a Link crossbow training right here for Wii. It's not worth a whole lot. Right here we got a couple of, or three brand new looking. Uh, uh, uh. She said it. The new kids on the block. Big giant pins. He was my favorite. Okay, and we're not done. This was a $20 buy. We got a Harley Davidson legit purse. It has the tag inside. It's Harley. And a Carolina Panthers with the tags. NFL. Little coin purse. What do you call that? Coin purse? Yeah, like a coin okay. purse. Alright. So all that was 20 bucks. That's gonna bring, I don't know, 80 to 100, give or take. But like I was saying, we're gonna make over a thousand on this deal. There's more game used jerseys here. Okay, and actually, going back to the $40 deal, so sorry about that, the caps were with it. These caps right here. There's a Jeter, like a commemorative Derek Jeter cap. This is 25 bucks. This is, uh, I can't remember his name. It's autographed by, it's a, a, a Tom Watson, I think it is. I could, I think that's who it is, or something like that. It's all, he was, he's got a sponsor with them. This was in the deal, and then this Brooklyn Dodgers, like a Jackie Robinson era hat, fitted hat here, and then a Tennessee Volunteer Volunteers. I got that because it's like, you know, it's a thing for Volunteers fans they might want. So all that was the part of the forty dollar deal. 
this place moving on to a garage sale so i'm not going to tell you i paid 10 bucks for how many figures i was supposed to get and some, a few other items including this this alone is worth 15 dollars. these are worth 40 dollars ish all together but i got these caps right here for five bucks the girl said i think she said three dollars each i said how about two for five she goes no how about two for eight and i'm like i don't know it was a weird deal anyways i got them all both for five i ended up getting it she didn't know her math or whatever. She was being serious. She wasn't being sarcastic. And then I went to this garage sale. There's some other items. There were some older ladies that were selling everything for a quarter to 50 cents. This is a vintage Rattler. Um, what do you call that? A sippy cup? I don't know what you call that now. It's, it's like a thermos. These were real from, popular back yeah, in the day. Just, they had a name for them. Before, and they had a couple of, yetis and you know, a couple of vintage um, thermos, thermoses there from metal lunch boxes. And I got Hobby Hobbit and Sesame Street there. Okay, and that also came with this. They insisted they had this stre <laughs> stretched up, and I'm gonna put this in the video, hopefully, of them taking it down. They insisted for 50 cents that I buy this. They took it down. It took them like 30 minutes to get it down, but whatever. They were nice older ladies. It's a big giant Corona banner, slight, slight fiesta looking colors. Anyways, that was basically, I paid like $2 or $3 for everything, and there was a bunch of beer glasses too. I didn't bring those because I didn't want to break them. Anyways, the caps were all 20 bucks. Every cap you see here was 20 bucks. There's vintage. This alone is going to get you 25 bucks. Look for vintage caps, but your biggest profit power that there is, look at me with the camera, please. The biggest profit power that you can have out there is to bundle up. I don't even like that word. Bundle, whatever you want to call it. it package deal, lot it together. You'll get a better deal. All People overvalue one item, undervalue a whole. Yep. Remember that. So, anyways, twenty dollars for these caps. Every cap's like twenty bucks or more. They're all brand new. Anyways, Texas Rangers. I don't know what that means right there. Some kind of rodeo thing. An X side from the '90s. These are all snapback caps. Look at the Spurs cap there from 1999 championship. Got a, that one's not going to be 20 bucks, but still it's like a throw-in. These two could go 20 to 30 a piece. They're Car Quest. Snap back. They're actually from 1988 San Antonio Grand Prix. So miss my Matco. Um, there's some Pepsi, Cool Can. There's two of those. There's a Toronto Blue Jays, and I think that's a, I don't know which hockey team that is. It's a Grizzlies or the Avalanche. I don't know what that is. Anyway, all those caps were 20 bucks. Garage sale right here, three dollars, random item. The only thing they had, picked it up. It's a complete 1990 Upper Deck Looney Tunes set. It's the set and binders, so it's pretty cool. Um, coming over here, this is all thrift store except for. Let's get to the shot glasses here. I walked up to a estate sale actually, and they didn't have nothing left. They must have been selling everything. I go, How much your shot glasses? Well, I seen a Spurs one in there. I like. Here's um. She goes, just give me $5 for everything. Boom, I jumped on it because the box, look how old this box is, if y'all can see the detail on it. I guarantee this box is 40 bucks. It's gotta be. I don't know what you put in there. Put in the comments below if you know what you put in here. It looks like salt and pepper would fit in there. But yeah, it, and it didn't originally come with shot glasses. The shot glasses are mostly from the 90s. But there's some cool ones in there. But I mean, that's one, two, three, four, eight, 12, 16, 24 of them. Plus, there's a couple of doubles. There's some tea glasses it's there. Some tea ones. But all that was five bucks. I can make a hundred on it, or I can make forty. Who knows? And lastly, the thrift store, like I was talking about. I cannot remember the exact amount, but it was around thirty, thirty-five dollars for everything you're about to see. And then that's the end here. Let's start off with this. It's a brand new Nintendo 64 memory card. Still in the package. It's fifteen to twenty dollars. If you didn't know. Vintage golf tees. These look to be from the 70s from when my research is. But anyways, I got all these for like two bucks. It's a whole big bag and it's actually sealed so they came like this. So I think it's definitely vintage and there's different sizes and stuff. This could be like a hundred bucks or it could be 20. Either way I win at two bucks. There's some vintage British puzzle of some kind. I think it was 99 plus. It was 99 cents right there. This, I don't I grabbed it because it was like two bucks. It's like some kind of Ford flight thing. It comes with some VHS. This is like the second one we've picked up. Good teacher's guy. At the same place, it's kind of funny. I guess the same person had another one. Um, anyways, these are some of the rare starting lineups. This is actually like the last year they made them. This is Jim Tomey. It's like a chase piece. It's like $20, $25. I think I paid five for it. And this one's actually the rarer one, not the best player. This is a Hall of Famer over here, Jim Tomey. But Brian Giles, it was a, definitely a chase piece. It's like 40 bucks. Picked it up for five bucks. And 
Sunday, they're having half price day and they have a whole bunch more figures. Hopefully I walk away with a bunch more figures. Okay, another game used jersey. If not, it's a game used practice jersey. It's a Pirates from the 90s. It actually had a player's number on it. I didn't look it up. I think it's like Brett Butler or something like that. It's definitely a game issue. It was used in preseason-ish or batting practice. It has the Pirates patch on it. This one's probably gonna go like for one or 125. Legitimately, 100, 125 dollars. All this was like 30 bucks. A 1994 Metallica shirt. Look at the years on your Metallica shirts because they've remade these same shirts. But this one's a 94. It is a smaller size, so it's a little bit harder to sell. So I'm saying 65 to 75 dollars. No shit, for real. Keep so. This was like a dollar, basically, 99 cent. Another game used jersey. I can't believe how many jerseys I'm finding. It's insane. So the Cyclones, I think it's Illinois, I want to say, Cyclones. It's definitely cut, trim. You can see the, the trim. They never sell them like this. It's, I don't know if this will show up, actually. But it's like a more slender cut that fit more form and, it, and bigger up here to go over your shoulder pads. But this is definitely a game-used jersey. There's no reason for them to sell it any other way. I would say 75 on this one, unless it's a more famous player, but I never looked yet. And we got a two-sided Tony Romo jersey. You don't see a lot of Romo jerseys anymore. It used to be. They were everywhere in my neighborhood anyway, or my neck of the woods. It's a home and away jersey in one. Can't find another one sold. I'm thinking 40 to 50 bucks. There you go. Let's just see the back. I don't I know. Like there you go. Them. There you go. We all like to see the back side. Anyways, it's stitched. And then here's some more random t-shirts from the thrift store. I don't even know what's here. What is this? Uh, John, John Mayer. Mayer. Who's that? I know who it is. Here's a... Holland, Texas t-shirt. I don't know the name of the player's first name. Sorry that I'm a little messy. This one's the best shirt of them all. Let me try to show you here. Say it. What's it say? I forget. Never forget. Never forget where you come from. Even if you weren't born, that stuff's where you... This is like iPods and hard drives now. Like, I don't know. You don't need tapes anymore, but this was where it was at. Set tapes for each us. Anyways, this is a really cool shirt. That should be a $20 bill all day long. Oh, and I almost forgot what you know about these. They're brand new 1994 McDonald's french fries from Dream Team 2. They don't have the original Dream Team with Jordan, but it's like Dominic Wilkins, Wilkins Joe Dumars, and players like that. Anyways, they're brand new. That's probably like 20 bucks. So anyways, that's it, I guess. We got through it all, thank God. Please subscribe to the channel if I don't show my light everywhere. And hit that little bell button, like we said before, where you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. And 